Hello, I'm Kerry Liu. Welcome to Silver Style Studio. I've been asked about my skincare routine many times, so I wanted to tell you about my skincare philosophy as well as what products I like to use. I do believe in a holistic approach to skincare. Almost everything you do affects your skin. Exercise, food, stress levels, the amount of sleep you get. And that's not even talking about facial skin care and dermatologist procedures. This video isn't only about skincare products. They're just a part of how to achieve your best skin. And if you thought I was just going to introduce you to some hope in a jar, this is the wrong video for you. Good skin takes a little work, but I think it's worth it and I hope you do too. So let's talk about exercise. Don't worry, this isn't an exercise video, but your skin does need good blood flow to be at its best. That's why exercise is so good for your skin. Now, there are extreme sports that are not so good for your skin. If you're running in the elements every day and your face is jogging and jiggling up and down and being exposed to the sun, wind and cold, well, that's not so great for your skin. Although for some people, the joy and other benefits they get from those activities outweighs the possible negative effects on the skin. Even if you do gentle exercise that gets your blood flowing, you'll see your skin improve. Yoga is great for the skin because it really gets the blood flowing around your face, especially when you do those inverted poses. If you get fluid pockets and dark circles under your eyes, you'll see a big improvement even if you do a little simple yoga every day. Please make sure you check with your physician before starting any exercise routine. If you look in this video description below, you'll see a link to exercise videos on YouTube that I like. Okay enough of the exercise stuff. But one more thing before we start talking about skincare products, because they're not going to do very much for you if you're not looking after yourself from the inside. If you start drinking plenty of water and cut out soda, you'll really see a big difference in the quality of your skin. And if you want to take that a step further, incorporate some vegan meals into your diet. I'm not a total vegan, but I do eat a lot of vegan meals. And it goes without saying that smoking is bad for your health and it's really bad for your skin because it stops the oxygen getting to your skin. The more you take care of your health, the more beautiful your skin, hair and nails will become. I often test skincare products, but I have my tried and true favorites for sure. I'm a huge fan of Dermalogica. So as well as others, you'll see me using a lot of their products here. No one is paying me to make this video, by the way. I've been using Dermalogica products for years, so I just want to let you know what's been working for me. All the names of the products are listed in the video description below. So if you use those links to make a purchase, it won't cost you extra, but then I will make a small affiliate commission and that helps defray the cost of making these videos for you. I love Dermalogica's no-nonsense approach to skincare. They don't use ingredients that could cause breakouts like lanolin, SD alcohol, mineral oil, and artificial colors and fragrances. And they have the Leaping Bunny seal of approval. Dermalogica have products especially made for dry aging skin. And if you go to their website, you'll see a skin analysis page that will help you determine which products are right for you. This is my basic routine. I know some of you are going to think this is far from basic, but I really love my skincare and I think it makes a big difference to the look and feel of my skin. Just a note here, I've never used Botox or injectables. It's not that I think other people shouldn't use them. I just feel like personally, they're not for me right now. Who knows, maybe there'll be a time that I want to use them. So here's my morning routine. I just give my face a wipe with a microfiber face cloth and lukewarm water when I'm in the shower. Hot water on your face is not good for your skin. It's especially bad for rosacea and dryness. 
I don't use any other cleaning product at that time because I thoroughly clean my skin at night so it doesn't need cleaning again in the morning. I will give my skin a spray of antioxidant hydromist which creates an active antioxidant shield to help fight free radical damage. I have been using this serum from Stacked Skincare for the last couple of months. It lasts a long time. <laughs> it contains hyaluronic acid which attracts and holds water. This is going to keep your skin nicely plumped up and dewy looking. For my moisturizer, I mostly use the Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery with SPF 50. Although, if I know that I'm going to be staying home all day, I'll just use their Intensive Moisture Balance Moisture instead. For my eye cream, I use Total Eye Care with SPF 15. Now, this is going to help reduce puffiness and fine lines, and the optical light diffusers help minimize dark circles. I love this stuff. And that's it for the morning routine. Simple, right? My evening skincare routine takes longer, and it can differ depending on if I've been wearing makeup that day or not. I generally don't wear makeup every day, if I'm not wearing makeup, I'll just wash my face with the Dermalogica Ultra Calming Cleanser and lukewarm water. If you want something richer, as I do in the winter months, Dermalogica Intensive Moisture Cleanser is fantastic. If I've been wearing makeup, I'll sometimes use something goopy to remove it, like Pond's Cleanser to get most of the makeup off. Then I'll just use the Dermalogica Face Wash afterwards. This is the daily microfoliant, but I don't use it every day. I use it about three times a week because I do other things to exfoliate my skin and I don't like to overdo the exfoliation. This is a rice-based microfoliant, so it's not going to scratch the surface of your skin like some exfoliants or face scrubs do. My nighttime moisturizer is a combination of the Super Rich Repair and the Overnight Repair Serum. You can mix them together, or you can use the serum first and then the moisturizer. I found an overnight moisturizer recently that I love. It's from a Swedish company called Numi. It's a multitasking nighttime treatment. The time-released retinol aids in tackling fine lines and wrinkles. It has vitamin C that's going to brighten, rejuvenate, and help protect your skin tone and appearance. This one has lasted me ages. A little goes a long way. It's not watered down, it contains no fillers. It's very rich, but not too thick. It goes on very smoothly. It contains natural anti-aging extracts that are sustainably harvested from Nordic forests. Ooh la la. If you usually have a reaction to retinol, this one may be easier on your skin. I had no adverse reaction to it at all. I use this every other day and I love it. It's going to stay part of my skincare regimen. This is what I use for my nighttime eye cream. It's the Biolumin C Eye Serum. Dermalogica has quite a few eye creams, so it can be confusing to find the right one. But if you visit their website, they do have experts that can help you choose the right one for you though. So don't get stressed, just ask for help. So, we mustn't forget our necks, right? So many people have problems with the skin on their necks. So, I use this neck cream by Dermatology. The bottle's a bit beat up because they sent me this about four months ago. It's lasted a long time. At first, I was very skeptical about getting a separate neck cream. I mean, why not just use your body lotion for your neck? Well, after using it for a couple of months, I really did see a subtle toning of my neck that I didn't get with my basic moisturizer, and I wasn't really expecting that. So now I'm going to add this to my basic routine. I know it's not basic for most people, but it is for me. Don't even get me started on all the devices I use. I can understand how overwhelming all this may be to someone who's really not into skincare. So you don't have to do everything I do. I just felt obliged to let you know all these steps because, well, it's what I do and people have asked me what I do. So this is it. And I even had special facial nights too. <laughs> You will see an improvement in your skin, even if you do a simple regimen. Just cleanse, moisturize with good products, use an SPF, exfoliate a couple of times a week. 
you don't have to spend a lot of money. There have been periods of time that I've just used drugstore skincare brands like Oil of Olay or Neutrogena. They make some great products. The important thing is that you put some effort in. So start simple and before you know it, you'll be a skincare fanatic like me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.